Hi, my name is Shimen Van Gundy, best-selling author and mobile home millionaire. Welcome to Mobile Home Millions, and I hope you're ready to change your life and become a cash creator. In this video, I'm going to talk about how do you sell a mobile home. Today, in this video, we're going to be talking about how do you sell a mobile home. In addition to considering the laws of the locality where you are moving your mobile home from, you'll also need to consider those of the locality where you're moving your mobile home to. The town where you're relocating to may have stricter laws regarding building standards and property age than the town that you're leaving and will almost certainly have notable zoning restrictions that you'll have to be sure to abide by. If your mobile home is more than 10 or 15 years old, expect to go through a bit of legal legwork providing accurate proof of the integrity of its structure and systems. Modern day building standards are in place for a reason and there's no getting around these laws if your property isn't meeting the bar. Don't let the laws of moving a mobile home deter you from starting the process. Many people successfully move their mobile homes every year and so long as you give yourself enough time, it doesn't have to be a stressful process. As for what to do first, follow these steps for making sure you dot your I's and cross your T's when it comes to the laws on moving a mobile home. Make sure that you contact the building commissioner in the town you are seeking to move your mobile home to. They'll be able to fill you in on any requirements around age and building codes, as well as any zoning issues that you'll need to be aware of. Unfortunately, if you can't get past the legal requirements of this step, then you're not going to be able to move your home. If you do, then you're one step closer to being able to move your mobile home. Also, again, make sure to get your title certificate and county treasurer certificate in order. These are the documents that prove that you own the property and there are no taxes due on the property. If you are, you'll need to pay these before you will be legally allowed to move the structure. Both of these documents are required for obtaining your moving permit. Make sure, again, that you hire the right moving company. Most moving companies allow you to book a service until you have your moving permit. I can't reiterate enough to hire a moving company that's reputable. Most moving companies will not allow you to book a service until you have your moving permit in hand. And for good reason, since they can't be of any help to you without it. While you should be doing your moving company research prior to this step, now is when you'll want to actually choose a company and hire them for your move. And for the cost of moving a mobile home, check out the article that they have on what you can expect to pay in moving fees. For relocations within 50 miles, you should anticipate spending somewhere between five and $8,000 for the cost of requiring permits depending upon your state. If you find value in this, I would love to invite you to my free webinar about how to buy and sell mobile homes and the three secrets top real estate investors use to grow their profits, whether in a booming or slow economy. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.